So, today I'm going to be doing a game analysis of my brother who has just started playing Street Fighter. So, uh, first we're going to start off with some matches that I have actually found of his gameplay almost five years ago. Just to kind of show him even the little bit of progress that he made from the last time that he played to when he started playing now. Just the progression that he's made thus far. Because one of the hard things about playing fighting games especially if you see yourself losing you s you feel like you're not actually improving so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of his gameplay dating back to 2016 since it's still on cfn we're still able to view it and see how he was playing with cami way back in the day and then compare that to some of his play just yesterday and we're going to go into his game replays and look at it and point out some of the good things he's done and point out some of the things that he can improve on and what he should be focusing on to improve and move up the ranks so let's get to it so looks like the last match that we have of his old profile which is on the uh, or actually it's still his current profile he just plays on pc now but his old profile on the ps4 4 was back in july 17th 2016 so Let's take a look at this match with Chun-Li. And we'll take a look at uh, both of his matches. Fight! Alright, so before we ever start anything, the first thing we want to do is we want to turn our key display on and we want to take our attack data on. This is important information to have when you're doing a replay analysis because one, you can kind of see what the button imprints were, were actually being done at the time. And also, the attack data so you can kind of see what moves are safe or unsafe and uh, give you a better idea of how you could or could not have punished a typical situation. So let's take a look at round number one. All right, so we start the match off and right off the bat, just kind of throwing out moves, blocking the, blocking the air attacks. All right. Let's see. See, the player on the right is just mashing buttons for the most part. All right, just random spiral arrow out of nowhere. All right, we go back to that moment. All right, stuffs it just because you don't know any better. All right, so here's an opportunity for an anti air and we spiral arrow. So, I mean, right there. We can already tell that there's not a big amount of awareness of play right there, right? Right, keeping keeping back from each other. Random! Now, I think what happened was, if we go back, he was walking up, and what he was trying to do, he was just trying to do spiral arrow, but because he was walking forward, he accidentally got cannon spike, which is highly punishable. Right? And actually gets a good his opponent actually gets a good punish out of it. This is actually a terrible level, right? No punish. Oh, good combo. Jumps into EX legs. We're not gonna focus on this too much, but all right. So we can see there is an actual attempt at anti-airing, right? So. Come here, we see there's air, he pits back and medium kick. So there, there is an attempt to anti-air. So even back then, the idea to anti-air was there, right? So anti-air. Mash and throw. He's gonna block it. Yep, blocks it. And backs away. Wow, uh, what? Imagine. Okay, so j just imagine how much you've improved from just this moment, right? Successfully, successfully blocked the super, and your answer: backdash. Yeah, that that's really bad. Free punish definitely gave up some damage there. And we got a KO, so there you go. Round one. Alright, 
match number two. Fight. All right, let's see. Oh, let's turn on the displays. I hate that you have to do this every single time. All right, block. All right. Still trying, still trying to anti-air with standing medium. Standing medium kick. Just random, random, randomly throwing stuff out. Works. Backing off, backing off. Staying far away. All right, good punish. So even back then you had a little bit more patience, but your your offense is highly random. It's like you're just throwing out moves just to throw them out. Yep. Got the hit. Didn't follow up with any combo. Alright, ran the throw. Worked out. Alright, block, block this time. Did we improve it? Okay. Some kind of a punish. Okay, well we got a combo there to finish off the round. Kinda, so that that's a little bit better. Final round. Let's see where we go wrong. Alright. Still kind of throwing, throwing out B skill. Oh. Bad punish on your opponent. Alright. Cross counter. Got out of the corner. Nice. Put yourself back in the corner. No combo. Random super, I think that was by completely by accident. Okay, well. Hmm. Well, but we can see we see you know four years ago the little bit of issues that we had back then so now that we've kind of covered your latest the last matches that you had years ago let's see where you've gotten just from uh, almost 200 matches of actual continuous play and actually wanting to learn we've got five matches that we had here so i'm gonna take a i'm gonna take a the first the first match of your long set because you had to happen to run it back to back so i'm gonna take the first one match um, we're gonna watch the second match and then we'll watch the third, the last match. So we're not gonna watch all five because that would make this super long. One. Fight. Alright. So. Alright. So good spacing so far. Trying to fill each other out. Alright. Good. Alright. So right there was an opportunity to get more pressure, right? So, you got the good, right here. Got the crush counter knockdown, right? Which is good. But then you don't, you don't, you don't go in any further to put in more pressure. You reset the neutral, extended the neutral even, and now basically you're kind of back at normal, normal positioning. The problem with doing it against the character that you're fighting right now is that Manat is a zoning, mid-range zoning character. So she excels at mid-range to about three quarters to mid-range. That's where she wants you to be. And you basically gave the advantage to her where Akira wants to be in close and you gave that up. So, um, all right, all right. So there you didn't really punish the slide. Right. Right. So there was a slide there, and this is a little bit probably intermediate right now. But uh, what you would like to do at this a moment like this, where if she just whips a slide right in front of you, 
uh, you know, do a light punch or something like that. Light punch, light kick, crouching light punch, crouching light pick, kick. Just to hit her, just to make the opponent stop doing that. Right, so you're fishing for that crush counter with that forward heavy punch, right? Uh, just be careful with that because that is a very long startup move and whatnot. And you, and once you activate it, you pretty much leave yourself vulnerable, and it's uh, you're susceptible to being crush countered if uh, if the opponent kind of gets a pattern of what you're trying to do. All right, no quick rise right there. Alright, good overhead. Alright. Elbow to kind of close space, but just be careful of that elbow. Because you see, it is minus four. If you see that upper left corner, you are minus four on that. Therefore, if uh, Manat has a four frame move, you can be punished. So just be careful. Oh, missed your, missed your combo. Alright, minus two is safe. Alright, so one of the things you got to be aware of with Manat is when she calls back her little orb, if, um, if you don't hit her before the orb gets back to her, it's actually active and it can hit you just like there. So that's how she's able to combo. So when you see her hear her recall it, just be aware that the thing can hit you if you don't hit her first. Alright, All right, so on the slide, on that slide, even on hit, as you can see, it's minus one, right? So technically, on that slide, it's not her turn anymore, even though she hit you. Um, According to the dat, the the stun data. Now, if we kind of fast forward this and we see the little red bars on the top, you can see them going down. And as soon as it expires, that is when you're able to move. Manat is still in recovery. Now you're able to move. Manat still in recovery. Manat's able to do. So if you both were mashing your fastest moves, you should come out and hit her just prior to you, sh her hitting you, or it'll trade. Right? So, she did a crouching light punch, because that's her light fastest move, but if you would have hit crouching light punch at the same time, chances are you might have been able to at least either beat her or possibly trade. So something to keep in mind. Alright, nice throw. Oh, see, I, I, th I think I knew what you were doing right there, right? So, right here, you were, you got the throw, right? Walk up, and then you try to do the heavy fireball, the input, yep, but you waited too long, so your meaty, your meaty timing was off, but if you would have started it a little bit sooner, right as... So thriller, and then if you would have started it, let's see if you start it right as she starts moving, as you see the movement, so right there, you see the, the movement of the character on the ground, that's when I would start inputting that move. That way, by the time she gets up, the move is already out. You didn't actually start it until after she was completely up, right? And now, she is ready to attack and your move still hasn't even started to come out yet it just the, the input was just now made so now you're starting to do it but it has such long startup you get interrupted and then you get a ball to the face and he just closed it out with a good combo confer basically confirming into his v trigger to take you out all right next round Alright, so this is this is a tricky one, right? 
it seems like when she dives, does this little dive kick here, right? That if you block it, it should be your turn to, to, to fight, right? But as we can see, I'm uh, screwing this up. As we can see, she hits you, right? And then she lands, there's plus one, but it's kind of deceiving because, so you tried a heavy attack, right? maybe trying to do an anti-air, where she did a light attack, therefore she hit you. Um, but that's a hard one. Most of the time, if they do that dive, especially if they hit you in the ankles, um, it's gonna be zero or, <coughs> <clears throat> or they'll be plus so they will the the opponent will have the advantage there so a lot of times you just have to uh block that pressure or uh be ready to tech a throw all right good way of jumping out good combo all right all right you didn't really set up. Um, you didn't really set up the opportunity to go for that uh, heavy to try to cross counter yet. Uh, with your strategy of hit him with the fireball and throw, you gotta have to condition your opponent first. Otherwise, they they have no reason to attempt to tech when you haven't tried to throw them yet. Okay, so this is ballsy right here. What you did was right heavy right and it was hit right so you're plus three and then you double dash so one dash right so now you're both at zero and then you dash again the Monat player, if they were, if they would have been mashing, you would have got hit right here. So just be careful with that. After your heavy fireball, a single dash you can do. Double dash is not real. And if the player is good enough, they'll recognize that, and they'll punish you for for trying that. Uh, good anti-air attempt, just were a little bit too far away, or they were too close to you. So. All right, same thing, double dash. You just got, you're kind of getting away with it. All right, there you go. So now you're setting up that pressure. I would, I would do it more though. Because right now, if you do it once and then do something completely different, uh, you're not conditioning your opponent of, hey, I'm gonna keep doing this until you stop me. What you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna get them to be afraid of what you're trying to do. And then that makes them want to uh, stop that particular wave because they keep getting hit by it. So you got to make them afraid of, of getting hit before they you can win. switch things up on them. Um, that right there, you know, the V trigger is a very hard thing. The person knows how to kind of use it to get extra hits. So it, it kind of was it was what it was. Round one. All right. Fight. All right. So. All right. Now that. I don't know if you intended on it, but the range on that overhead was probably about as perfect as you can get. So look how far away you are when you start this. Uh, before you start this overhead. All right. Pretty much. That, that spacing is about perfect. Hit him probably at the very tip of your range. So that's super good. Um, I mean, I'm guessing that you just kind of hoped it was, but if you practice that spacing, that that is, you'll, you'll catch a lot of people from that range. So that's good. Good combo, I like that. Alright. 
kind of getting antsy, going for that target combo, which uh, has not worked out well for you. Right. But already you can see you're playing a lot more aggressive this time. You're, you're getting in on her a lot more, not giving her that space. So a little bit learned from last time. Okay, dangerous dash in, punished you. Right, so you're kind of you're kind of a bad spot, right? Good way to come in, and you just kind of got caught with that with the dive kick into the throw. That, but that's kind of a hard mix-up with the limited amount of life that you had left. You're basically gonna have to either take the throw or um, block block the light punch. Just kind of jumping around, going in here. All right. Good spacing. Just kind of pokes. A little close. All right. Got caught doing the overhead a little too close. All right. Getting you in good combos. All right. So I don't think. I think right here what would have been better for you to try, try to do was that delay teching, right? So for delay tech. Right? As soon as you were up, you were mashing throw, right? So what we want to do is as soon as we're up, we kind of delay until we would have got hit and then do the throw. Or actually, right? So we're up, right? So you're up on your feet and you're already, you're, you're hitting forward, right? So you're not holding down back by your inputs. And so if they would have thrown out any button, you would have got hit, right? Uh, so you can hold down. If you are if you want to throw tech, you can hold down back and then kind of uh, delay tech, then kind of slightly pause your throw for where you would expect to get hit. And then as soon as you would get hit, then you would hit your throw button. But you don't do either of those. And so you just whip it and take more damage. Right. right. So that standing light kick is actually pretty good. Let's go back to that. So the kind of throw out neutral. All right, heavy kick minus six. Should have if the person knew any better, they could have punished you. All right. You got a hit on that. Let's see if the next time if you um, get a. All right, so one thing you wanna wanna get better at is when you get a crush counter, knowing how to react to it. So you kind of autopiloted piloted yourself right here, crush counter, and then and you decided beforehand you were immediately gonna go into an overhead. Problem was you got the crush counter, and with this overhead, you got pretty much nothing out of it when you could have got a whole lot more damage and instead uh, now you're minus All right so that was another heavy kick All right kind of just ran right into it you should have been dead right there but he dropped his combo good blocks but got hit by the overhead so it happens not. So this is the last match that you had um, prior to departing for the day. And we'll take a look at how you did. And just the adjustments, just kind of seeing how you adjusted from your first match that you had against this person between the third match that you had against this person and then the final match. Round one. Fight. All right, crush counter. Right off the bat. Right. Alright, so you can see you're you're being very aggressive right here. Not really respecting the range at all. Kind of going ham. Throwing out kind of reminiscence of that candy fight. 
you're just kind of going it just going hard right now right all right so that's kind of a tricky thing it didn't pull you all the way back to her right so when this move hits normally what happens is she pulls you back to her and grabs you but since it only pulled you partially part of the way you were pretty much free to be hit by a follow-up attack so that's kind of what happened there but i don't think he was ready for it either because he didn't really have anything ready for you all right all right so now you're now you're starting to respect her spacing the range that manat has all right Tried the anti air, it was a little late, but it just didn't work. Alright. And I think it looked like you tried to tech, and this the game just didn't give it to you. Round two. <coughs> Point. Alright. Alright. No punish on. The Monats part. All right, push to the corner, cornered, very good. All right, a little bit of space. All right, there you go. You got the throw pressure. There you go. Try to throw. If you would have got a back throw, that would have been better. All right, too far away. It's obviously not gonna reach. All right. Um, so let's get you in the habit of if you try to throw, just hit the throw once, right? So just hit it once. Uh, try not to mash it so you do those, that double throw with motion because uh, that, that can get you hit in the face pretty easily All right, so let's see something All right, so right here you do that move as soon as it ends Because it's medium right so you're not you're not positive on that one. So not your turn so good job of holding back all right, so look at your button inputs. I, I saw a flurry of buttons that flew up. So let's go in slow motion. All right, so punch there. And the game didn't read anything. And you're just mashing. Right there, you are mashing the, uh, the launcher. And it just didn't work. So. Right. so I think it's just a, a matter of you didn't uh, get the target combo to go through, so it didn't count. All right, so we're getting pressure. Now, let's go back to here. Look how much of a life lead you have right here, right? Now, let's see. How overly aggressive have, did you put yourself to almost lose this round? And basically lose the match. All right? You have a huge life lead right here. Right? Okay. Drop the combo. Cool. Right? Still a huge life lead. All right? Slide in. All right? All right? Fortunately, did not punish you very well. But now it's about even. You have a slight life lead. All right? Fortunately. Now, you probably should have been dead right here. Blocked the light punch. Plus two. Act activated a... Uh, the person activated a ball. And then went for a crouching heavy kick. But since you blocked it and the ball went over your head. And you did a light kick. It hit, and you won that round. So, very fortunate that they didn't follow up with just another um, final round. Fight. Quick attack. All right. All right. Hard read there. All right. Anti-air. Good anti-air. All right. All right. Good blocks. All right. Went for a sweep from, I don't know, how far away were you when you did that sweep? We're even close to being in range. Uh, they're in the air. 
I don't know. Maybe you maybe you meant to hit heavy punch instead, because um, you just got smacked in the face with a beach ball, bud. Yep. Right, but your blocks right here are very good. You are being very patient. Good combo off the uh, off the punish. Let's look. Let's go back to that punish again, real quick. All right. Jump. All right. So did a forward heavy punch. Confirmed into it. And got a full combo. Nice. All right, dangerous. All right. All right. That's so it's minus two. So actually, at that spacing, minus two. That is safe. So you can you can throw ex elbow. That's actually safe. That is not safe. You got you got lucky on that one. All right. Yeah, be careful with those heavy attacks. Though. You are very, you are very minus, very punishable during those times. All right, good. All right, and I think this is where you kind of shined because you block this this entire pressure and then wait to throw them at a great time, and then that was beautiful, right? While they were in the pressure of a Daigo, your brother attacking you immediately Akira went for a, a jump attack another thing that you could have done was an overhead attack as well so two two options but i love the you know hit him while the, while he's confused because a lot of times at this level the thing that a opponent is going to want to do is if they don't know what to do is just hold down and back right but since you were holding down and back, he blocked the Daigo attack, but you were already in the air. And he probably wasn't focusing on what you were doing. He was more focused on what the brother was doing. And so you are able to get that final hit. So excellent job of using the V, uh, the v trigger and using it at a great spot to take advantage of it. So uh, yeah, good, good job on that. So that is the replay analysis for Blaine Blaine or Bliggity Blaine. Um, Others that are watching this, if you got any learning from it, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you next time. Peace out, donkeys.